What's going on legends? We are back with another video. And today we're back from Bali. Right now I'm in the mangroves. So usually you'd think of Bali, it looks a little something like this. And we are doing absolutely none of that today. So what I wanna to do today, I'm gonna to make myself through this mangrove system. It's actually a really big mangrove system. It goes for ages that way, ages that way, and I'm not sure how far back. So what I wanna do, I wanna walk around these mangroves, ideally find a mud crab. If I can find a mud crab today, that would be so sick. There's so many little crabs around. I found a little muddy before, so I suppose we'll just start punching that way and um see how we go the humidity levels right now are so insane it's that hot little crabs everywhere we just need to find a big muddy this is gonna be sick oh it's hot <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's actually so muddy. Wow. Let's hope there's some crabs around. Ah, far out. So there are so many crabs like this. They're absolutely everywhere. So if there's small crabs like that, there's got to be bigger crabs, I'm sure of it. Go on, mate. All right, so uh, these mangroves are super dense and I can't get through any of this section. So what I want to do, I want to chuck the seagull in the sky, see if I can find like a feeder creek, like a creek that's feeding this system and hopefully I can walk along that creek and there'll be muddy holes or something, but it's just started raining a little bit, so once this rain disappears, I'll have a look from up there, see what we can do because this is so thick. Woo! I put the drone in the air and then my phone just started going off its head at me saying, no, you can't fly here, you're too close to the airport, blah, blah, blah. So we're not going to use a drone. We're not going to find that feeder creek with the drone. So goodbye drone. I'm just going to walk back through those mangroves and we're just going to punch on until we can find that crab we're looking for. That is a mud crab claw. That's a very good sign. Beautiful. All right, where's a claw that's on a live crab? Must be down here. This is actually really hectic. I'll tell you something else that's hectic is the mosquitoes in here. They're so bad, but um, Dude, I've been in here for like four hours now, and there's not a lot going on. There's heaps of little crabs, medium-sized crabs, but there ain't that big muddy yet. Guys, we've actually done it. I, I cannot believe this right now, but I've actually found a crab. There's not so much holes like in Australia. They live in holes, but here I've just been poking puddles. Finally had that tung-tung feeling, and look at this. He's not happy but we've actually found a mud crab in Bali. Look at this. That is a full on mud crab in Bali. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. No. Oh, that sucks. One of his claws just come off because he was biting that stick, but look at this. I can't believe it. It's a male. You can see he's a male there from that pointy centerpiece there. I can't believe we've got a mud crab in Bali. I am frothing right now. Woo! Woo 
<laughs> yep, she's sloppy. Can you believe we've got a mud crab in Bali? What? I've heard stories of there being mud crabs here and now I've confirmed it for myself. We've got a mud crab. It took like six hours. Um, I've had no water. I'm eaten alive by mosquitoes. My legs are on fire. But um, I am so happy, worth every second. I was gonna start a fire up on the bank and cook him there, but it's like three in the Arvo now, it's super hot. So I'm gonna go down the beach for a swim, start a fire on the beach, cook him up there. That sounds sick, let's get into that. Welcome to my favorite Balinese kitchen. So every time we go spear fishing or fishing or mud crabbing, whatever it be, this is where we usually come down in the afternoons and cook our feed. So the ocean, just over there. You've got this mad little river inlet, that sandbar, ocean on the other side. Sickest spot for a kitchen. Best views in the world. All right, I gotta get a fire going. Somewhere around here. And we'll get that crab on the cook. Whoa, wow. Best kitchen ever. How good do you say? Spent most of the day in the mangroves trying to chase that mud crab. We ended up getting one. Quickly went home, chucked the mud crab on ice. So now he's asleep. Had a quick wash because I was filthy. Come down to the kitchen. So now we got the mud crab in this whack little pot that I found. Cold binny. And um, let's wait for them coals to go down. Might chuck the drone in the air and show you guys the kitchen. Over your skin you can see it beat Intoxicating your energy First time in so long you felt the heat Is looking pretty bloody good right now. Get a little bit of a flat surface going. Chuck our water on. Oh, stop it. This is that good. This is a secret trick, right? Every time I catch an aeroplane, I take these little, I take these little like sachets of salt, and they come in handy so much. So we'll chuck a couple of them in. I've got no idea what this is. Yeah, it's salt. Bit of pepper. Why not? Give it that flavor, eh? Oh, I'm excited. In goes, I don't even think these are gonna fit, hey? In goes the claws. That'll do, it'll cook the important parts. Ah, look at that. What a day. So we ended up getting the mud crab, starting a fire in the kitchen. So let's crack her open and see what we got. Oh, it's hot. Look at that. Barley lollipop. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. Guys. 
That's so good. Wow. Well, I'm gonna get stuck into this crab, sit around the fire and wait for it to go dark. Thanks heaps for watching guys, that was another sick day. And um, see you in the next one. Ew.